So the other day I was out here and I was hanging out with the chickens and I noticed I was missing one. And I thought to myself, oh no, another raccoon or fox or something uh, came through because we had a rainstorm that night. Um, I didn't, didn't know whether that just sort of deadened the electric fence or what. But the more I looked around, I didn't see like a poof of white feathers anywhere else. So I was like, well, maybe, maybe the, n nothing did get it. Maybe my chicken just escaped and is doing something out away from the fence. Well, um, a few days roll by, I don't see a poof of feathers anywhere. I send the kids looking all over the place. We can't find it. And then I'm walking out to feed the chickens one day. I hear this little noise over here in the bushes and lo and behold, there she is. Broody as she can be, sitting on some eggs. Well, you guys know what I think about these little uh, white phoenixes. They're great little hens for, for mamas. They, they brood well. You guys who watched the duck project, you saw uh, Opal Jr. raise those nine ducks. Well, this is one of uh, Opal Jr.'s little sisters. Um, let's call her Opal the third, I don't know. <laughs> um, but. So she's sitting on some more Phoenix, white Phoenix eggs, and once again, we don't want more white Phoenix. So we're going to West Virginia to get us some dorking eggs. Hey guys, what are we doing? We're going to get the Phoenix eggs. We're not getting Phoenix eggs, we already have Phoenix eggs. What are we getting? We're getting some dorking eggs. Are you a dork? No. Okay. I'm a dork. You're a dork. Don't call me a dork. We're getting dorkings. Tell you more about those later. Buckle up, guys. Okay. All right. So if you've never heard of a dorking before, um, you're you're not alone. I had never actually heard of them myself until recently. Uh, back on Fourth of July, me and the kids and the family, we went to the historical triangle of Virginia: Jamestown, Williamsburg, Yorktown. Visited a bunch of those settlements and. When we were in Jamestown, there was a, um, we were at the fort, you know, with John Smith, Pocahontas, that whole deal. And we were at the fort and we saw these cool chickens there. They, they were strange in the sense that they um, had five toes, but they were really cool because, I mean, they just, you know, big bodied, cool plumage. Um, so immediately I asked one of the historical actors there, what, what kind of chicken is this? And uh, the guy told me that they're dorkings. They're the kind of chickens that they would have had uh, there at Jamestown uh, when, when they actually settled there uh, years and years ago. Uh, and so as soon as we left uh, the Jamestown Historical Fort, um, my wife needed to go shopping. So I pulled out my Google device and hooked up the Google machine and said, all right, tell me about these dorkings. I started reading all this great information on them about um, how delicious their meat is, how dual purpose they are, how heritage they are, how a lot of our heritage breeds uh, can trace their lineage back to them. And, and they even trace their lineage all the way back to the Roman Empire. Like the Dorkings are named after Dorking England. Uh, but of course, you know, the Romans settled there in, uh, in England back during Julius Caesar. And so like they, they trace these ones back all the way to the Roman Empire. So yeah, man, some, like you've heard of heritage birds, these ones are like super heritage. Super excited about it. Catch you in West Virginia. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we made it out here. Uh, we're meeting up with the lady who's selling us the eggs uh, at Dollar General. Uh, guys, what do you think about the road out here to West Virginia? Uh, what kind of... What kind of things did y'all see? Um, a lot of cows and barns. Yeah. And, 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 what else? Um, a, a barn that was so big. We saw, yeah, we saw some really cool barns. We had a, and we saw the turkey. We saw, yeah, we saw a flock of wild turkey, lots of deer. Uh, we saw uh, some twin fawns just out in the road. So we're just in the wild and woolly West Virginia right now. Getting ready to meet up with somebody to get some eggs. One hour later. So we just met up with the lady from the, she's a breeder of these red Dorkins. I'll show you the, the eggs. So we got, we got four of them here and another six here. So 
total of 10 eggs. We're going to go home and set them under the chickens. What do you guys think? Y'all excited about it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready to go get something to eat? Yeah. yeah. Who's the hungriest? Me. <laughs> I'm a big eater. I think it's me. I'm a big eater. I'm bigger than both of them. Dude, this is crazy. We're on the other side of the storm, I think. But man, I don't know whether we just drove through a tornado or what, but hailstones all over the place, trees falling out in the road. This is nuts. Get me out of here. So this is the crazy thing about living in the mountains. On the other side of the mountain, you got the, the, the thunderstorm going on over there, the hail, the looks like a tornado to me. We're over here and it's just dry and dusty. It hasn't even rained over here yet. But look what we found. We're gonna check this out. Well, we made it back from Wild and Woolly, West Virginia. My little partners back here are passed out. I'm gonna go sneak them into bed, and then this is the perfect time for me to sneak these eggs under the broody hen. We had a blast in West Virginia. Um, I mean, just riding around, looking at beautiful country, awesome, cool farms and barns along the road. We pr in Monroe County alone, we probably saw 100 deer. So. If any of you are watching this, any of you subscribers live in Monroe County, West Virginia, and you need somebody to come shoot some deer, hey, I volunteer. Um, I think we hit a tornado. Like, I mean, trees were down across the road, hailstones, all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, halfway between uh, Oregon Cave and uh, Union, West Virginia. So if any of y'all are from there, it's uh, August um, Sunday, August 16th, I believe. Sunday. Let me know whether there was a tornado out there. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to get these little guys in the bed and then I'm going to get to putting these eggs under the booty. And while I was in West Virginia, that tornado must have touched down out here too because great day. You see back here where my, my brooder box is, the giant, all this wood that piled up here, that wasn't here when I left. And see over here, it flung this chair out here. I think this fence is laying down with wood on. There's this big pine tree over here that fell over from these tall ones that are right there. But let me show you what's crazy. You guys remember where my little broody hen was over here? You see, I, I walk up and I see a big pine branch right where she was sitting at. And I'm like, no, I didn't go all the way to West Virginia to get eggs for her just for her to be dead. She's laying right here, holding down the fort under a pile of branches. Don't worry, girl, we're gonna put you in the brooder with some fresh eggs. Got fresh chips in the brooding box and let's just make a little nest here for her with her new little eggs. That looks like a nest that they'd lay on right there. Would you lay on it? Comment below. All right, as you may remember, here's the, the brooder box. And right across the way is where she conveniently located herself. It's a catcher. It's crazy. Tree literally fell right in her direction and branches. Look at this, this was laying on her back right here, the stick. You're all right. I know, I know. I know, I know. Yeah. I'm gonna get you all squared away, don't worry. Yeah. 
Yeah, these are all the new little girls around here. They definitely disturbed her a little bit there. She's trying to figure out what's going on. And they're in their little breeze state, but we're gonna kill these lights and she'll find her way to that little pile of eggs. She's mad at me. We'll leave her alone, let her figure it out. Once I left her alone for a little bit, she settled right in. You're a good mommy. Take care of your new eggs. So I wanted to show this to you in the daylight there. You see where it snapped off right about there and came and fell all the way across here. And it hit, it hit this brick with such force, it knocked a chunk of it off and you see, where it blasted all that right there. Of course, I cleared the stuff that was on the fence too. She is in there brooding like a good girl. You're a good girl, Mama.